Today I'm excited because after five years of creating tutorials, CG Dive finally offers a complete learning path for rigging in Blender, from beginner to advanced level. Manual rigging, Rigify, Alderic Pro, Mixamo, Game Engine Export, Mocap, Retargeting, it's all on CG Dive. But of course, you don't need to learn all of that. So in this video, I'll be showing you what you need to focus on depending on your skill level and goals. And my aim is not just to promote my content. I want you to find what you're looking for as quickly as possible. So I'll also be sharing courses and tutorials by other people. To make this learning path easily accessible, I've created this web page, which you can reach by just typing cgdive.com slash rigging. Okay, if you're new to rigging, I'd recommend that you start with my free course, Rigging Isn't Scary, level one. Level one is just five easy lessons and if you just go through them, you'll know more about rigging than 50% of Blender users. And the great thing about this page is that you can just click on these buttons and it will take you right to the content and the actual playlist. So here you have the entire free Rigging Isn't Scary course. Then I would recommend that you keep going with level two of the course. Again, it's free. It is still fairly simple, but it will introduce you to more complex rigging techniques. And I believe this kind of content is missing in the Blender community. We have a lot of beginner content and some advanced content, but intermediate content that smooths the transition is missing. Once you complete level one and level two, you may want to consider what you're going to be doing next. If you enjoyed these two beginner courses, then you may be a good candidate for the manual rigging path. If you didn't, then automatic rigging may be what you need, but first let's explore the manual rigging path and then we'll go back and explore auto rigging as well. So if you want to keep going with manual rigging, again, I believe I have exactly what you need. It's level three of rigging isn't scary. You'll be able to get this for free. And while I call this level intermediate, many other people would probably call it advanced because we'll get into serious rigging here with plenty of important and somewhat complex rigging mechanisms like IK, FK switching, FK limb isolation, foot and hand rigs and so on. And my goal with level three is to make you self-sufficient as a rigger. After level three, I believe you'll be able to figure out things for yourself. But if you want to keep learning with me, I've created a follow-up course to Rigging Isn't Scary. It's called Rigging Unleashed, and it will show you how to take your rig to the next level with squash and stretch techniques, additional face rigging, rig eyes, and so on. I also have an older mechanical rigging course called Battle Drone Rigging. So if you want to learn how to rig hard surface objects, pistons and implement ground detection, you can check out this course. And this is all I personally have in terms of manual rigging for now. But creating more of this type of content is my goal for 2025. What the next course will be will depend on the CG Dive community. Soon I'll be sending a survey and I'll make the next course based on your input. Next, let's check out automatic rigging. Let's say that you gave rigging isn't scary level one and level two a try, but you didn't enjoy it much. Maybe you struggled a little bit with level two, but you still need to rig your characters. In that case, auto rigging may be what you're looking for. With this learning path, you now need to make another important choice. Which auto rigging add-on will you use? Although there are actually a lot of options these days, the most popular ones are Rigify or Alderic Pro. So first we'll look at Rigify because it is free and built right into Blender. CG Dive actually started out when I decided to cover Rigify in depth and my tutorials are still some of the most detailed out there. So you're in the right place. CG Dive has two completely free playlists covering the fundamentals of Rigify. If you're still using an older Blender version up to Blender 3.6, you can watch the original Rigify Basics or Rigify Fundamentals course. But if you're using Blender 4 or later, then watch the updated course. Both will teach you the same techniques. It will just be easier to follow because the interface may have changed a little bit. Now, these two courses are completely free. And if you want to dive into advanced Rigify techniques based on detailed step-by-step -step tutorials, then I have several courses that you can check out. The Ogre one, the Dragon one, the Skeleton Rigging session, a Rigify manual, which demonstrates every single setting that you'll find in Rigify and a face rigging course 
focusing on the specialized skin rigs that were introduced in Blend of 3.6. As you can see, the Olga course is free. It used to be a paid product, but I decided to release it for free just so people have access to an advanced Rigify resource. And the remaining Rigify courses are paid, but very reasonably priced in my opinion. So check them out if they look interesting. Next, we have Autorig Pro. And while it is somewhat similar to Rigify, it is a paid product. So you may be asking yourself, why would I use that if Rigify is free? While Rigify is extremely powerful, many people find its user experience a little bit lacking. And that is where Alaric Pro shines. It offers a lot of quality of life features. You can rig humans by just placing a couple of dots on your model. You have access to advanced skinning features, game engine export, and a lot more. And that is why tens of thousands of Blender users have chosen Alaric Pro. And it is the most popular Blender add-on in the community. I have a special video comparing Rigify versus Alaric Pro. Check it out if you need more information about that. And if you decide to use Alderic Pro, then I have another extensive playlist that you can check out. And I believe you'll be able to learn Alderic Pro just from my free playlist. Here you have a little overview of the kind of examples you'll see in the course. We have a simple human, an advanced human, a bunch of quadruped animals, wings, birds, dinosaurs, a special video focusing on the face rig, rig customization, and so on. Another tool worth mentioning here is Mixamo. While it is quite limited, because you can only rig humanoid characters on Mixamo, it is extremely popular. And that is because it is really the easiest way to rig and animate a human character. There are thousands of pre-made animations that you can just apply on your characters, and the whole thing is free. Now, some people use Mixamo only, others actually use Mixamo alongside Rigify or Alderic Pro or Custom Rigs. So you can find all of these workflows in my free Mixamo playlist. Again, it's a lot of information that you get completely free. These days, Blender has a lot of outer riggers, which in my opinion shows that more and more people are choosing Blender for rigging and animation work. At this point, these other tools are not as popular as Rigify or Alderic Pro. But in my opinion, they're still worth taking a look, especially if you're a more advanced user. You can watch a video which I made giving you an overview of all of these tools. You can also click on this link and this will take you to a special site which I manage and where I organize Blender resources. So this here is the auto rigging category and so you'll find all auto riggers that I personally know of. Okay, you can also go to the top page and explore all sorts of rigging categories or animation tools, mockup and retargeting tools and so on. Okay, and finally, I have covered something that I called specialized rigging skills. At this point, I have extensive free playlists for Blender and game engines. So if you need to export your characters to a game engine, check out this playlist. There is mockup and retargeting. You will learn how to retarget in Blender with various tools. I have also covered mockup suits like Rococo and AI video to mockup solutions. I won't be covering the artistic side of animation, but I have a course on essential animation concepts. It's focused on the NLA editor, which is very important for you as a rigger and as animator. The course also covers other animation editors, so check it out. And I also have an older course on weight painting, which is an important part of rigging and a part that many people struggle with. So if you want to really understand how weight painting works in Blender under the hood, this course can help. These are the learning paths that you can take on CG Dive. And of course, I'll keep making tutorials, but I'm just one person with limited time. So as much as I'd like, I cannot cover everything. And that is why I have no problem recommending you other creators that you can learn from. So in here, if you click on this link, again, it will take you to my resource site. Uh, this site is mostly about add-ons, but I have a special page about Blender courses. So here are a couple of Blender beginner courses. Of course, we have the Guru Donut, but I have also shared a couple of alternatives. 
But if I collapse this, I can focus on the rigging and animation courses which I've shared. Of course, I have also shared my courses, but you'll also find the Art of Effective Rigging by Pierrick, some rigging courses by Wayne Dixon from CG Cookie. Anything from Pierrick and Wayne Dixon is awesome, so highly recommend it. And there is a really old course by Nathan Vegdal. This is what I and many other riggers learned rigging from. Now, this course is old, but in a second I'm going to tell you why it may still be relevant and you may still be able to watch it and learn from it. Next we have an outer rigging section. Again, it's full of my courses, but that is just because I don't really know of a lot of Rigify resources other than mine. But there is one by Juan Cruz, which is really good, so check it out. There is also a mechanical rigging section with my course and two more courses from CG Cookie. And finally, there is character animation. Again, that is not something I'll be covering, so if you need to learn character animation, some of these courses can be great for you. If there is an awesome course, which I haven't added to this site, you can press this button and fill out this field and let me know. On this page, you can also scroll down and write a comment. Okay, so you can learn a lot from CG Dive and you can learn from others as well. But there is one problem that people run into and that is that the Blender interface keeps changing. And this can be a real challenge, especially for more casual users. That is why I made this special video giving you an overview of the main changes that happened in the Blender interface. And once you understand those, you should be able to follow older Blender tutorials, even really old ones like the Humane Rigging course, which I shared earlier. And finally, there is another resource, a compilation video I did in 2021. In it, I shared a lot of great Blender rigging channels, so you can discover those. And even if their information is a little bit older, you should be able to learn from these resources if you check out this update video.